Hello again, this is TransAaron38 coming to you again with another video review. And today we're taking a look at the new Transformers 4 Age of Extinction Voyager class Galvatron. And there he is in his nice truck mode. Yeah. Truck mode. Really? A truck? Come on, Hasbro, what's going on? But again, what could you do, guys? What could you do? Yeah. A lot of people's upset about that. But again, what could you do, guys? What could you do? I really dig the truck, which is very nice. So, yeah. Okay. Not sidetracking. We'll set him off to the side. And I do want to thank a good friend of mine for helping me get this. And that would be me and Prime John 1. Because we went on a shopping spree last weekend. So, yeah. Very cool. So we got our video haul. We got all that good good stuff. If you guys are subscribed to me and watching all my videos, you can see me and him picked up Galvatron. He has Galvatron also, so he's going to be doing a review also. So keep a lookout for his reviews. So he's an awesome reviewer just like me. So yeah, Galvatron. So we got the box art here. Very nice picture of Galvatron. And what the heck is this on his chest? Looks like one of those drone kind of chest-like things. Yeah. But again, what could you do, guys? What could you do? But it could be a cool crossover if Tony Stark did something to make Galvatron. Yeah. Yeah. But again, what could you do, guys? What could you do? You got the packaging. Come around to the back. You got product shots. And you got, ooh, look, Autobot Hound. And that wave. And you got his bio. If you can pause it and read it if you want to, go ahead. You got a nice picture of Galatron's robot mode and his nice truck mode. Very nice. Ground. You got Transformers. Autobot logo. Really? Why isn't it a Decepticon logo? This is a Decepticon. But again, what could you do, guys? What could you do? So, authentic Transformers on the bottom. And, yeah, that's the packaging. So, we got Galvatron here in his nice truck mode. I, have very, I, I don't know what truck this is. It might be some kind of new Volvo or Freightliner or some kind of cool truck. But, yeah, it's very nice looking. I really dig it. So, yeah. And you come back here and, oh, uh, we got gaps. No. And his legs don't want to stick together. But, yeah. I see his chest already. Decepticon logo there. Yeah, shell former, shell former. Yeah, but again, what could you do? And he does come with his gun. He can have it on top of his truck mode if you want. Very cool, but lame as it is. I wish you can put it in here like this, like the other up, like the Optimus Prime I tried showing you. I wish they could try to put it in there. It ain't that obvious. So, yeah. This missile does fire, not alone like Optimus Prime's Megatron's gun, like the last video. Yeah. Yeah. So, we'll set that missile gun off to the side. Well, it does have some nice detail into it, but the packaging shows that this is a black tire. So, yeah. So, again, what could you do, guys? What could you do? We'll set him off to the side side and we'll take a size comparison why not bring in g1 optimus prime and he's the same size as evasion mode optimus prime you know about the same size but he's way too big way too big now for the heck of it i'll just grab my Classics Optimus Prime, which is about the same size as him. 
So yeah, which ain't which ain't that bad at all. So yeah, that, that could be like a good custom for a Nemesis Prime. So customizers, that'd be so cool. Yeah. But again, what could you do, guys? What could you do? And it's not for a Klondike bar. But again, what could you do, guys? What could you do? So yeah, we got Galvatron in his truck mode. Very nice detail. I really like the silver. Got the black grill. You know, blue lights. So yeah, very nice. This half section is really cool, but when you get back to here, it's like, oh my goodness, what happened? But, yeah, it's okay. What could you do, guys? What could you do? Now, transformation-wise for him is very different. And it's shell form. First thing you want to do is bring these panels. Bring them all the way back. Spread the legs. Rotate them. We'll grab his heel. To here, click. And there's his legs. Or you can just have Optimus Prime laughing at Megatron if he's walking like this. So yeah, that is pretty weird looking. <laughs> that is messed up. So again, what could you do, guys? What could you do? So what you want to do is grab these wheels. Tab, untab them and they go off to the side. Bring this whole assembly back like so. I'm going to pull his legs down just enough just to get this out. I'm going to grab his hands, rotate them out, just like the leader class Optimus Prime shell forming. So, this is what I think they engineered a little bit better, but it's still a shell former. Okay, we got Galvatron pretty much transformed, but it's for his backpack. What you want to do is grab this top section like that, and it closes in on itself. This whole this whole assembly to untab that, move this back, and it's caught there, and it goes flat. And you want to bring this piece back, move this backpack up, and it'll just set there. And there you got Galvatron in his robot mode. So yeah, he really got a ain't that bad of a backpack. So these kind of re go for wings if you really want to. <clears throat> but again, what could you do, guys? What could you do? Articulation-wise for this guy, he got really clicky. Hand joints. You can move his fist back and forth. Swivel there. No swivel with the hands. Very cool. And a weird joint on his thigh. And you go in like this and out. And you got a high knee joint. Which is really messed up. But again, what could you do, guys? What could you do? Now, Galvatron can't hold his weapon. Some would like to have it holding hold it just like this. Like he has a blaster on his hand. Which I would refer to having it upside down on his hand. Looks pretty cool. So, not really noticeable of his hand. So, very cool. Now, for a size comparison, why not we bring in... Dark on the Moon, Megatron. Eh, about the same size. It's just he's a little bit beefier. Because he dies, and he comes back. Or... Or is these pieces of Megatron made into him? Hmm. Don't know. We'll find out in the movie, guys. So, yeah. Again, what could you do, guys? What could you do? For another size comparison, let's bring in Evasion Mode 
Optimus Prime. He stacks up pretty good. And another one will bring in board your class Grimlock. Try to beat him up with his club. His club of justice. So, yeah. See, so that was Grimlock and Vo Without knocking Galvatron over. So, yeah. I like Galvatron in his robot mode. He is very cool. I really like his robot mode. I wish it had a little bit more detail. He got nice, nice blue. And you got Decepticon logo here. Nice black one. His head's on a ball joint. Limited anyway, he can't really turn it that much, but his head sculpt's really cool. I see the horns are wrapped around his head, which is very cool. You got his shoulder pads, move you can move them around if you want. Very cool, and it really bothers me that there's wheels on his back of his legs, but. Again, what could you do, guys? What could you do? So he got pivot on his ankle and his foot. Moves back and forth. So really good range of motion on this guy. I wish his knees was down here a little bit. But again, what could you do, guys? What could you do? So, without popping his weapon off. So this is Trans Aaron 38 Reviewing the new Transformers 4 Age of Extinction Voyager class Galvatron and this is Trans Aaron talking to you again Don't forget to rate and subscribe and comment on any videos that I do and keep a lookout for any new videos headed your way And don't forget to check me out on Twitter and follow me on Twitter and also follow me on Instagram So yeah Instagram very cool app Did you put on your phone and follow everybody and who knows I'll follow you back too so, again, what could you do, guys? What could you do? So, this is Trans Aaron 38 talking to you again. Have an awesome day.